Good morning. I'm going to do a video with the Brother Scan and Cut Chamas Creation Precision Tip. It's already in the machine. I'm going to do this on a nice, tiny, two inch by one inch tag. Now, let's go over here. I have some layers set here. Let's see, this is how I do this so I know exactly where it's going to go on my mat. It's pretty darned accurate. Sometimes I do a template for smaller shapes, but this is a good size. And then I'm just gonna turn off because I don't want it to do that rectangle, but that was the exact shape of my tag. Now make sure, see my file is set to draw. I actually fill this in so that it will etch for me. And I am going to send it over to the machine. I, it told me that that rectangle is not set to draw, which I'm fine with. It's ready to retrieve the data. I'm going to retrieve the data from my machine. Um, Everything is okay with the shape. I'm going to select draw. I'm going to play with the pressure. Oh, my speed's good. I like where the sp speed and pressure. I like to keep it a little slow and the pressure's high. Now, when I hit start, it's going to tell me I've attached appropriate holder. Okay, hit start again. And there it goes. Okay, so you can see this is going to be two minutes. I'll show it etching just a little bit. I swear, this is one of the quietest die machines, die cut machines I have ever worked with. I will show you on the Chamas Creations page and also the YouTube channel this video, and there will be pictures of the finished acrylic tag. Let me show you how small this is, though. This one is a different one, obviously, and it comes with these... Uh, protective covers. So I just remove this one side so that my double-sided adhesive can go on the back and it doesn't leave any smudges. All right, thanks for watching. Hope this helps with some questions.